Say there, Timmy, what's that you're enjoying? Why, it's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous to me, and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing the Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way or another, and you were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. For example, he's the one who picked up the phone and declared, Someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. We've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. When developing this particular sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated, and it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult to find. Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the Time Wars. 
Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. We begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2, creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay. And several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds to blackmail. And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting, and that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, the sequel to pigs. And there you have it, everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy, one which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is, who gives a shit? All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubblegum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and consume. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on every platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels for today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond.